All right, everybody out there in the Craft Chest Nation, as I Craft Chest here, and yes, finally, I am back making a video tonight. I finally have the energy to make a video and post it out there, everybody. Yes, I know the last video I posted was the old school SPL challenge, and looking at the gear that I have over here, there's nothing that I have. Uh, I thought I was going to hook up the Punch 45 and see how it was going to do, but somebody brought up the point zoom in on the uh one of the i forget what the fancy name of it is but one of the boards make sure it didn't leak and we got to talk back and forth long story short uh that's the reason why that amp has static in it but we're going to get that fixed but i had the uh, punch 150 uh a2 that we did the little spl challenge with and that was a lot of fun but now it's time for me to put that on the side and go into phase three of project defiant and what that means is, is that I had to go and buy a lot of tools that I used to have. I used to have every tool to just pick it up and go work on a car. And I got to looking around. I'm like, dude, I, I don't have anything. I don't have jack. What happened to my stuff? And here and there and friends and borrow and break and lost and whatever. And long story short is, is that I have to rebuild uh, my tool, you know, uh, my tool collection just to do things. And that includes some things that we're going to be doing. Uh, and I do have a couple of these items, but we're going to have them for backups or minor upgrades. And yes, I know whenever I show you these things like this right here, it's going to be just straight up, you know, what? That's No, it's going to break. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay, baby. It's okay. I don't, I'm not rough with my tools. And if it breaks, it breaks because when I tell you the prices on this, and before I change scenes, I want everybody out there, forgive me for what the back looks like because this is all the stuff that I bought. It's just sitting right over here on the floor. And as a matter of fact, let's go ahead, boosh. Let's go to the original. And yes, I know, over here is a little bit junky. I know the Roman chair is getting collected uh, with a bunch of mass of stuff. But we got to move all that out. And we're going to get that out of the way tonight. Uh, what this video is all about, though, is... Quite simply, a, a haul that I got from uh, Harbor Freight. And then at the tail end of this, I'll tell you why uh, I haven't been streaming, haven't been making videos, arcade videos, etc. Um, I've been collecting tools so we can move into advanced uh, projects on both the cars out here. Because you may or may not know, uh, those of you that I've talked to on stream, a few, a few of you out there that uh, you know keep up with the, the personal uh, off the internet life There's a car that's been hanging around since 2001 I bought the thing brand new uh, for kitty from the gods of games back in the day and That car is still around still runs great and everything else paint jobs a little jack Which uh, if I decide to edit a video, I might do a voiceover on a video that I did uh, where I was trying to work on it uh, She can't sell it and I asked her how much she wanted for it uh, because it's in her name and I'm the co-signer and still technically it's in both of our names. So uh, there you go. She said thousand dollars. So I was like, gotcha. And I need a backup whip anyway. Anyway, everybody needs a backup. So I've been trying to get some things going with it. And I, I looked around. I was like, you know, I need to change the, the hub assembly on the thing. This, that, and the other. Little minor maintenance things on it. And I was like, man, I don't have any tools. I got to re-collect tools on this. So I'll... I was like, let me look at Harbor Freight because I'm not looking to spend thousands of dollars on anything. And you know what? I got some awesome deals and I'm about to show you right now. Let's jump off into this. First of all, I got my knife to cut this open because we're going to have a look at this. First of all, we have a torque wrench. This is a half inch drive torque wrench. We're going to cut it open. And this may be a little bit of a lengthy video because everybody out there knows that I do one takes on this. And we do it live, craft chest style and that's okay so we're gonna throw that over there because i gotta clean up anyway after this video is over with and here we go with the fancy little case uh let me pop this open and then i'll tell you how much i got this for of course it's got the little paperwork and warranty stuff which the lady asked me if i wanted a warranty on it and i might have should have got one on this but i'm not going to use it but like one or two times but here is a torque wrench once again half inch drive on the torque wrench right there um here's the setting back here to where uh, you actually set it or wait actually on the handle here and there you go so forward reverse all that good stuff I guess you can hey sounds like about 
If I had to guess, 22? Yeah, it's not many in there. But anyway, I just need this for the hub nut. And that's it. Things like that. So I got this torque wrench, half inch drive, for $9.99. So awesome deal right there on that. They had a coupon. And I used the coupons. And I asked the lady when I went up there, I was like, do I need one for everything that I buy? She said, yep. And I was like, all right, stand by. So I, I got out of line, got back in line, got out of line, got back in line until I got all the coupons ready to go. So I got that for $9.99. That's a torque wrench. Doesn't matter how good it is. As long as it works at least one time or two times, I'm good to go. Because how many times do we actually change our hub assemblies? And then... Not a big gigantic deal, but this uh, level, which I'm going to be needing in Project Defiant, um, a, a level is always good to have anyway. Look, this is level, and that looks crooked. So that means my camera's off. We need to fix that. I can tell that in the camera. Look at there. Let's see. Let's bubble it out, bubble out. That's crooked as all get out. So we need to level that camera. But I got this for $1.99 at Harbor Freight using a coupon, AKA a coupon, a coupon. And then here's something, I was like, this can't be right, man. This thing, what's what, what's the catch? And we're about to find out if there's a catch because somebody said, does it come with a battery? That can't be right because he says, man, just little odd jobs around the house. That's awesome. I got this and I know drill masters like the, you know, bottom of the barrel stuff. Understand, I know this, it's not Stanley. Okay, it's not DeWalt, it's not all the Makitas and all the other fancy names, but for little odd jobs around the house, I don't even need this. I have a DeWalt back there, but I was like, that price can't be right. And for a backup, if your battery's down or whatever, I got this right here, and here it is, an 18 volt supposed lithium battery in this. Does it come with a charger? There's a charger down in there, okay, it does. But I had this right here, they had a coupon, and you could go to Harbor Freight too if you're not uh, signed up for the mailing list for the email. You could get one of these also. Let's see. Oh, look, listen. Oh, and it's got a light. What? This sucker's even got a light. And it's charged up to $16.99 for a cordless drill. And I mean, think about it just a regular drill like this to screw in, you know, screws into a wall, screws into a box. And like I said, I have a DeWalt with two batteries and this could be the backup to the backup. Um, let's see how easy the battery is to take off. Let's see. Uh, let's see if I can figure this out. It should. Ah, look at there. So it just slides on just like that. And I'm probably gonna actually charge this. And it doesn't take long for these lithium batteries to charge. I don't even know if they need to charge it. doesn't have a backup to it. Uh, of course, here's the little charger, standard little charger, I'm sure. And yeah, nothing special. But it's also got a little, oh, what is this? Oh, it's even got an indicator. All right, so there's a wall plug for it. And then that plugs into that. And I guess it's go, no go, because it's got two little LEDs right there. Can you see those? Right there in the middle of the little half delta slash. So not bad, $16 and 99 cents with the coupon from Harbor Freight for this and hey I'll take it because it's always good to have a backup to the backup and for that price I was like dude you can't beat that because I'm all the time needing a drill just a little beater drill you know just to drill a hole in a piece of wood or put a screw or tighten up a screw or whatever so let's put that to the side and then this is another item and yes, all this is drill master for the most part. I do have an impact wrench back here that was on sale also, but I didn't have, it was just on sale. It wasn't like a super deal. It was paid $44 for it. I'll go grab it maybe here in a minute. But anyway, we have the drill master heat gun because uh, I got interested in something that I'm going to do on my car, at least on the hood and the roof and the back, the trunk and the tail fin on the car, the spoiler which is body wrap and i got to thinking you know what people saying hey how, how come you don't wrap your liner your car how come you don't body wrap your car and i was like you know what we're actually gonna we're actually gonna try to wrap the car because looking at how wraps work and how people you know do it i was like i can do that 
that's like that's that's me right there i could do that but i got this heat gun and it is a 1500 watt 120 volt heat gun got a pretty good length cord on it also for nine dollars and 99 cents if the thing works one time for me to get the um the hood and the roof done um on the car that's good to go that's all i need and they wanted to give me warranties on all this and i'll probably regret it and plug it in and it doesn't work <laughs> and they're like sorry charlie it's yours i don't know but there's that and then of course this is something i've been putting off a long long time and i'll tell you about that in a minute which i'm not going to show you all the other little bags over here because i got like chip brushes and a block sander and sandpaper etc to go along with the projects because we're going to both be doing some sanding projects body wrap projects and some fiberglass and inside the car at a later time but here's something else uh that i didn't want to mess up my actual mechanics gloves that i have over here so i got these and they have a coupon right now and i put them on and they feel pretty good they're a little bit more squared off at the fingertips but what do you want for four dollars and 99 cents for a pair of mechanics gloves they are uh they do have the velcro as you can see and they fit pretty good i haven't taken them off of this card but um not bad you see what i'm talking about how they're kind of more squared off than normal on the on the tips and i really don't care about that mainly it's just to keep like the grease and the heat and getting from cut and knuckle bust and i actually have some knuckle buster um, mechanics gloves back there also it's got the rubber uh protectors across the the back of the hand here but these right here would be a good little whatever pair of gloves here yard work whatever it's better than those little cotton gloves that fall apart four dollars 99 cents can't beat it and then i saw this and i was like that price can't be right which i know these this once again this is a uh who is this garter i guess name brand but a knife sharpener because i have a couple of knives around here around the house especially like this one right here and i don't know how well it's going to do but we're gonna we're gonna try it just to straighten the blades out on like this little knife right here which this knife somebody actually lost this knife a long time ago in one of our stores and somebody's like hey man you want it i was like sure i need a good pocket knife because i had just uh started carrying around my gerber or is it a gerber yeah i had a gerber but it's fat and I wanted something I could put down in the pocket watch of your pants. And that's perfect. I used to have a Spyderco back in the day. And I have no clue what happened to my Spyderco. But we have a little knife. And I have a little cut, couple little kitchen knives that I want to uh, get sharpened back up. They're not dull dull. But, you know, those blades always need uh, straightened up every now and again. And there you go. That's the best of the best. And I guess um, let me switch over. To the splash screen for a moment. And I guess I will show you the other phase that we have going on over here. Uh, and there's a reason why I had the splash screen. I've got like shorts on and I'm fat. I don't want to show all that. I look all buff from the chest up, huh? <laughs> Who knows? But anyway, here's the last thing that I bought. And this was $45. Hold up. That's the wrong screen, yeah. All right, $45, I had an impact, half inch impact wrench that they had up there. And this one actually is not the one that I need for the uh, air compressor that I have, but it will work. And all I need it for is for those little stubborn nuts and bolts and what have you uh, to come out of the car. And there you see, it's got like a uh, turn setting on the side, reverse, forward, and all that good stuff. Got to oil it up, and there you go. And then this is a central pneumatic. And from what I understand, as long as you take care of these, um, this is like a mid-range. They have this a $44 one, regular $69, I'm wanting to say, and then jumps from $69 to like $129. So it's like a little mid-range, low to mid-range, and that's all I really need because hub assembly nut i literally broke with a, about a six foot cheater bar and a half inch drive stanley ratchet um i'm embarrassed to even say this it like snapped it and i was like 
dude, that is the hardest and most torqued nut ever, ever in the history of ever. And it's crazy. I don't even want to talk about it because that's in a video. I don't even know if I'll post that video because I was like mad when that happened because I've had that ratchet for years. And it's one of those that ratchets and then you can turn the handle and it click, 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 click. And it's not a 27 tooth. This sucker's like a 50 tooth. It's like click, 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 click. I mean, it's very, very sensitive. I don't know how many teeth it is, but it's an awesome. But I'm about to get with Stanley and see maybe if they have uh, warranties on those. I don't know. But anyway, that's my haul, everybody. I'm going to put all this up. And I just wanted to share that with you to show you what I've been doing. We've been collecting tools for the Phase 3 of the Defiant. Project Defiant is about to happen here over the next few months. And these videos are not going to be pumping out left and right and center like normal. Because about every two weeks, we'll be buying some stuff and going to do it. Buying some stuff and going to do it etc and carrying on this is a year-long project so once to twice a month we'll be doing videos like this the rest of the time whenever we get back into it we're going to get back into some twitch get into some live streaming maybe even over here on uh, youtube once the weather is cooler and that brings me to what i wanted to talk about that's the main reason why i haven't been doing anything video wise whether it's live stream or making videos or anything is the heat this humidity and heat this year has been miserable i mean everybody down here is like oh my i don't remember it ever being like this and it's all due to global warming no it's all due to there's a star out there in space that decided it it, it had enough of us having comfortable weather because i was like dude i don't remember it being near it last year it was hot Okay, it was hot last year, but this humidity, oh, it's just like, it's soul draining. And that affects between here and work and off work and doing the things in between, especially the outside projects, taking a shower, get something to eat, I'm done. I'm just gonna be honest with you. You know, working a full-time job and doing this on the side, um, whereas last year we were trying to do full-time on everything, is totally different and it just beats me down i'm old and weak you know just ask gun toad he's calling me old man now but that's okay all right but that's the reason why everybody as soon as the weather calms down a little bit we'll be getting tons of con uh, content both here inside uh game wise outside <clears throat> with the cars with the sound systems with the mechanical part of it and i'll be sharing all that with you but until that happens, like towards the end of this month, going into October, November, <laughs> it's going to be just like you see here. About once every two weeks, here I come. Uh, now, the streaming part of it, I know that has nothing to do with what, you know, nothing. I just have to get off my lazy behind, fire up X, X Split, which, which we're on right now, and go at it. And we're going to do that. I just need to get myself squared away and stop being old, I guess. All right, but anyway, we're going to end it here before I get on a ramble. I already did, but that's okay. I, I never can make a video under 20 minutes. You guys know this, and you don't want to know why, because it is a craft of the mind. Go out there and have some fun, and we'll see you on the next one. Woo! Woo!